Good morning, YouTube. I'm at Airway Shopping Center, which is on Woodman and, and Airway right here in Riverside, Ohio. I just thought I'd show off this area, this shopping area. For the most part, it's in pretty good shape, although there is a few vacancies here. This is Esther Price Candies there. A Dayton based business that were founded here in the early 1900s, but right here, Mid, Mid, Mid America Management. This is one of the looks like somebody's trying to do some work inside of there, but this shopping center for the most part is in pretty decent shape, the best that I could tell. This auto zone right here, they've expanded their. Uh, can't tell if this is being used for storage or what, but they got the windows covered up. But this used to be a blockbuster video right here years ago, and as many of you know, you know, due to Netflix and Redbox, there's not a whole lot of video stores left in America now. Well, this building, I believe, is still this one is still vacant there's no for lease sign but this used to be the former blockbuster video there's a McDonald's over there that they just recently relocated right here and this shop is center for the most part is still in pretty decent shape yet here you got the auto zone right here I'm not going inside any of these but this is auto zone right here gyro place Greek restaurant right here Aldi's discount grocery store discount grocery store right there and uh, for the most part it's, this is still in pretty good shape if the video cuts out, it's because my cell phone connected to a Wi-Fi at one of the gyms I belong to, Planet Fitness, right here. Yeah, this side is is empty right here. There have been a few different gyms here at this particular location in the last 10 or 12 years, but Planet Fitness has managed to gain a stronghold here. There's Planet Fitness right there. So they've managed to do pretty good here. Renaissance Center right here. These places, you have to be very leery of renting from these places. Of course, extremely high interest in other things. Salsa's Mexican restaurant. This used to be a Pepito's right here, but there's only one Pepito's left in the area, and that's in Kettering. And this, this Halloween place, it's only mainly seasonal stuff. This used to be the old Goodwill outlet store right here. So they only really have this maybe for one or two months out of the year. Out of the year. Right here. PNC Bank e-cigarettes. This is this building, this this next one is for lease, but this might be referring to the Halloween place. Yeah, I believe it is, yeah. Because like I said, this is only seasonal right here. U.S. Post Office, this has been here for a while. It's a smaller one. I don't know how long they're going to be able to survive here. Because of course, as many of you know, Post Office is downsized in recent years Riverside Historical Society right there there's the PNC bank location right there and whispering palms I'm not I think that's like yeah this is like a nail salon yeah, this is like a nail salon and hair salon, that type of stuff right there. And this one right here, you can see how they masked the emptiness of it with the tarp it off. 
Mid America, Mid America Management. Looks like they're the ones that are the commercial people that are in charge of this. And for the most part, this shopping center is doing fairly decent and pretty well for the most part. So this really ain't a doom and gloom video, but I I was over in the area this morning. I figured I'd make a video. This is check into cash right here. Place you could cash checks, get loans, that type of that type of stuff. There's not as many of these places around since there was a law that passed a few years ago that limits, you know, what they can charge for interest and borrowing and that type of stuff. Big lots, they've been here for probably a good 20 years. They appear to be doing pretty well the best that I could see. There's the McDonald's off in the distance right there. But this is the still the big lots. This is a pretty good sized store. I'm gonna say probably 50,000 square feet they probably have in sight here. It's probably what they have. Furniture City right here. They are not open yet. But they still look like they're doing pretty good. Yeah, they open at 10 a.m. Monday through Saturday and 12 on Sunday, so they're doing pretty good still right here, it, it appears. But LA Tan, Tan and Salon right there, of course. Women in general like to go to those places. Some men do as well, but this is Rite Aid right here. They're doing fairly well. It's Thursday morning. I mean, Thursday morning, so it's not really prime, you know, shopping hours, but at least, you know, most of the shopping center is still holding it together right there. Yeah, the McDonald's off in the distance once again. Yeah, the cakery, a cake place right here. And they've been here for a while, too. Big Bob's Floor and Outlet. They just moved in here the last two or three years. Apparently wanted Floor and Star. So there's a plug for somebody who wants to get a job in the area. If you have experience with Floor and Star right there. So. Right there. There's the Midas right there off in the distance. Right there. <clears throat> Far East Trading right here. They're a place that sells like various Oriental food and that type of stuff. It sells that type of stuff. And Asian food and you know, basically all that good stuff. And that's a good thing. I've sometimes have bought a few things inside of here before. You can buy a lot of stuff in bulk, as you see. Look at the size of the bags of the rice right there. China Garden Buffet, a Chinese-Asian buffet. They've been here for a while. I've I've ate here a few times, and, and the best that I could see when I've been inside here, they still look like they're doing... They look like they're doing pretty good. Right here for the most part. Firestone, they've been here for a while right here. And they look like they're doing pretty good. There was a auto repair shop that closed not too long ago. I believe this was a this may have been a Jiffy Lube, that empty building off in the distance, that white one with the cranberry or red color. It might have, might have moved their operations from right there, but I'm not sure. But it may have been a Jiffy Lube. This is the Ponderosa. I actually got a video of this a little bit ago, which I'm going to upload. I was actually able to get on the inside of it because the, there's workers working on the inside of it. And I just, they didn't mind me taking a video in there. And as, and as I said in the previous video, this was probably here for 30 years before this this went before this went bellied up right here and uh,
some of the other restaurants that are that still adjoin this right here this building it this is the Ponderosa again well former Ponderosa I should say and this is the Arby's that this is Arby's right here they've been here for a while as far as I know there's the former auto repair shop that closed I believe in the last six months or a year I believe and uh, there's Papa John's pizza right here we're on airway right here on the airway side of it I'm gonna get ready to cut this one and you know in this one here in a minute or two but this is the Papa John's right here this is the back side of the of the Arby's they're not open yet of course excuse me there excuse me but yeah this is Arby's right here so for the most part this area still looks like it's holding its own and doing fairly well right here here's Long John Silver's right here they've been here for a long time too but anyway that's it for this one